Hey y'all, welcome back. So today we're going to show y'all how to make several different salad recipes to kind of mix up your spring lunches or add them to a meal if you like. And today we're going to start with one of the most fun, in my opinion, is a Thai chicken salad. This is one of those salads to really change your thinking of what a salad has to be, not just like a regular garden or cob salad, which we love. That's one of our go-to favorite salads. Just something to mix it up with a burst of flavors and just something different than our normal everyday salad. We're gonna start with a dressing, then chop a few ingredients, and it's pretty much dump and go and kind of toss around after that. So first up, we need some peanut butter. We're gonna do about five tablespoons. Of peanut butter none of this is exact so you just kind of go taste and adjust from there we're going to add in a couple splashes of water maybe about three tablespoons need about two tablespoons of soy sauce about a tablespoon of lime I'm not lime <laughs> of honey we do need some lime let's do that next then we do want about a tablespoon of lime juice also. So it really depends on how juicy your limes are, if you need one or two. So we're gonna start with one and we'll see how it tastes. Next we need about half a teaspoon of pure sesame oil or toasted sesame oil. This is not a teaspoon, but it helps me to measure. This is one thing that I don't just toss in there. I tend to have a heavy hand. About a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder and about a teaspoon of fresh grated ginger. Now I just keep this, I keep several chunks of it in the freezer actually and I used to be one of those people that I was like there I don't have fresh ginger on hand that's just not something I use a lot but this stuff is super cheap it lasts forever and it actually works out better if it's in the freezer makes it easier to chop up and grate up and you see I just use most of the time either the back of a spoon or just a potato peeler and that's how I pulled off the little skin part of it also but fresh grated ginger just gives so much flavor like you can smell it even when you first start grating it just brightens it up all right so I'm just going to pop this back in the freezer and that is all we need for our dressing just gonna mix this all together. And look, it looks just like a little mess right now, but it will come together. Now, if it's a little bit thick like this still, just add a little bit more water to thin it out. Let's give a little taste test. So we need some more lime juice. And maybe a splash more of soy sauce. We need some of that saltiness to it. Let's see. There we go. That's exactly what we need. I think that uh, the soy sauce actually did more for us that time than the lime. So our lime just might not be as tart, but it's still right on point. So now we're just going to set this to the side and we're going to build our salad mix. We're going to move this all out of the way for now. So up first, now this is, how many pounds is in this? This is two pounds. So we need about half of this bag of coleslaw mix. So you'll need a pound. Ooh, if I can get the bag open. Now if you don't want to use ready-made coleslaw mix, you can most definitely shred up some heads of cabbage. You need about three or four green onions. We don't really like the whites, so I'll just use the greens. But if you like that bite of the white onion, then go for it. Add more flavor. And just dump that straight in. Right. 
We're gonna add some cilantro. So just take a handful of it, just kind of break it off. You can either chop this or tear a hand, whichever you want to do. So you can see. If you don't like cilantro and you have some basil or some mint, you can use that, or you can use it in addition to the cilantro. But just some fresh, uh, fresh herbs with some bite so that it adds a bunch of that flavor. Parsley won't really do the trick here. Now we need a red onion. You can use an orange or yellow, but the red is just the prettiest and really makes it pop. I would not use green. Y'all know I love my green onions, but or my green peppers, but it just doesn't add the same sweetness in this dish. So just a rough little dice of the pepper. Ooh, this one's nice and juicy. You can hear the crunch. So y'all see the beautiful colors already coming together. Now this will be okay to use this because we're not using it for anything else. But we're going to add in three cups of cooked chicken. I'm using some chicken that we've canned, but you can use rotisserie chicken, you can use canned chicken, you can use leftover dinner chicken, um, but just some, about three cups of cooked chicken. Chicken like this is like some of our favorite, especially for chicken salad. I'm not sure how, but whenever Ooh, I'm in dropping my dressing on the counter. But once we can it up, it tastes so buttery. Like, and we don't really add a whole lot of anything to it before we can it. Let's see. We're gonna pour our dressing. I'm gonna do about half of it, stir it around, and then I'll do the other half. I don't know why, I always need a bigger bowl. Doesn't matter how large of a bowl I get, I always end up needing a bigger bowl. Okay, so now that we have it about halfway mixed in, we're going to add in a little bit of pepper, maybe about a half teaspoon, maybe about a half teaspoon of salt, and the rest of our peanut butter dressing, or our peanut dressing. We want to get every last drop of goodness, especially since I'm slinging so much of it on the countertop. Okay, so we're going to let this sit for about five minutes. Um, nothing serious, but just let that coleslaw soften just a little bit and let some of those juices, just to let some of those juices come out, and we will be ready to eat. That'll give us just enough time to get everything cleaned up. And there you go, y'all. Lunch is ready. Delicious and nutritious. Full of a ton of flavor. And then you can top it with some peanuts or some little chow mein noodles or both if you want. salad that we're making today is a taco coleslaw. Um, we've got some pulled pork on the smoker so we're going to use that on top of it but we're going to start with our dressing or our sauce first. <coughs> so you need about half a cup to two-thirds of a cup of sour cream. You want about a cup of mayo. We're going to add in about two tablespoons of your favorite taco seasoning. I want the juice of one lime, and that's our base for our dressing. Just four simple ingredients. We're going to mix this all together so that when we start throwing in everything else, it, it disperses pretty easily. Sometimes I'll get in a rush and I'll try to add this on top of the dressing or on top of the coleslaw and everything, and it, doesn't, it just doesn't quite mix as well. Now I have some extra lemon juice here in case we need to add any to it, but now we're just going to start throwing a bunch of stuff in pretty much. 
You need about a 14 to 16 ounce bag of coleslaw mix. I like the colorful kind, but you can use whatever you want. I have one can of black beans that we've drained and rinsed. I have a can of corn, and I'm just going to drain off the juice from this. There we go. We're getting to the end of the corn that we canned last summer, so I'm getting a little bit sad. I'm ready for it to be back again this summer. We need one can of Rotel. If you like spicy, the spicier kind, the better, but we're just using original. So we got the kiddos eating it and uh, Thatcher spice is not an issue. For Eleanor, it really depends on her mood. So I'm just going to mix this a little bit. We're going to chop up one red bell pepper. You can really use any color you like, but I would go for one of the sweet bell peppers, like a red or yellow or an orange. Um, I just like red. It makes some of the colors pop. An orange would be really pretty in this too. Now we're going to add in one to two jalapenos. Again, depends on how much spice you want. Um, and you can even test your jalapeno to see if it is spicy. The ones I've been getting lately have not been spicy at all. So we're just going to dice this up. And it's okay if you've got a few seeds. And last but certainly not least, we need about half a cup of fresh cilantro. So, I always overdo it. Well, I always overdo it now with the cilantro, but I'm going to do about a cup instead because this is what really freshens up the salad. If you don't like cilantro, though, you can most definitely leave it out. It has a ton of flavor, especially if you're topping it with some meat. It has a ton of flavor already. But I have two bags of cilantro that I need to use up within the next few days. So I'm going to put a full cup in today. And you see I just did a rough chop of that cilantro. Nothing fancy. Some stems in it. It will be okay. But look how many colors. You have any spring get-togethers or anything coming up, then definitely take this along. And we're going to give it a little bit of a taste test once I have it all mixed. But we are going to let this salad sit for at least 30 minutes. Ours will probably be sitting closer to about an hour or two while this meat comes off the smoker. All right, so we're going to use our other little spatula that we dirtied up and give it a little taste test. So I think we're good on the lime juice. We have a little kick from the Rotel, but nothing overpowering. And it's going to be even more delicious in just a little bit once those flavors meld all together. So we'll see y'all back when the pulled pork is coming off and we'll show you how we just top this and serve it up. Super simple. Okay, y'all. So our pulled pork is all done. I think I over toasted these a little bit, but this is how we're going to make dinner. We got some of these tortilla pockets to make. And this it comes like two packages of like this. But we're just going to pull our salad. I was gonna use this cup. We need a smaller one. I'm gonna use this cup to just put our salad mix in. And so that we don't get it just a a full just single bite of salad, we're gonna kinda layer it in. You pull, put your pulled pork in. And then another layer of salad. And there you go. Little hand tacos. Full of our taco salad and our pulled pork. And this pulled pork, we just seasoned it with some cumin, chili powder, salt, pepper, and blended up some of those cans of adobo and chipotle. Or adobo, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. But there you have it. Easy dinner, we're ready to go. So for our pepper and cucumber salad, this will only take a few simple ingredients. We need three bell pepper, 
or you can use um, about six or seven of those mini bell peppers. Those work really well also. So I'm just going to slice these into strips. And I'm using a whole bunch of different colors just to make it fun. You can use any colors you want. I just would not use all green. Or I don't know if I would even use green at all in this one. I love my green bell peppers, but in this dish we really want that sweetness from the different colors. Now we're just going to slice up our cucumber, and you can use seedless cucumbers if you like. This is a more cost-effective way for us, and we don't mind the seeds, so no big deal. But choose whichever you like. So I'm just going to cut these into some strips about the same size as the bell peppers and toss those in the same bowl. And this is two cucumbers total. Okay, so now that we have all of our veggies cut up and we have our huge salad ready for us, now this will shrink down a little bit, we're going to add in the fun stuff. So we're going to start with about a quarter of a cup of an Asian sesame ginger dressing. You just pick your favorite ginger dressing, but you want about a quarter of a cup to start. And we want some everything bagel seasoning. This will give us our nice salty bit. We're going to start with about one tablespoon. Some ancho chili oil. And you can make this yourself too, but they have these wonderful little jars at Sam's. They have so much flavor in them. So I'm just mixing it all up because those spices will settle to the bottom. And we're going to add two tablespoons of this oil to start with. We're just going to toss our salad all around. Look how colorful. Run away. I'm making a mess. And as simple as that, our cucumber and pepper salad. So I'm going to pop this in the fridge. You can go ahead and eat this now. Mm. But those flavors are only going to get better as it sits. Now, I wouldn't let this sit for a long time, but an hour or so and you'll be perfect. I'm going to pull some out to take for mine and Eleanor's lunch on the go today. I want some of all those colors. <laughs>